hello, and welcome to another episode of Builders Let's Play with me, Bully Bait. In our last episode, we finished uh, the monument that we built for the first, uh, our first achievement, getting wood. And uh, today, we're going to work on another few achievements. I'd like to get a few more monuments done. Uh, I've actually already started. I dug a little, whoop, uh, I dug a little hole down into the ground here, and we, I made this cave area. And this is where we're actually going to put a few more monuments. I'd like to see if I can't get like one like right here, here, and over here. Uh, just to symbolize that, you know, a few more of the monuments that we've, uh, the achievements that we've done. But before we get started making those, I want to go ahead and uh, texture out this hill a bit. Uh, and we're going to start from right up here. So the first thing I'd like to add is like a pathway. And uh, I'd like to make that pathway out of some blocks that w we don't normally use. I'm going to use granite, and I'd like to use a little bit of uh, diorite. I think I have a few blocks down in here somewhere. Uh, wrong chest. I always open the wrong chest first. Oh, I only have three. Well, maybe we'll go down and pick up some more diorite. What I like to do is make a pathway that runs from right here. Uh, maybe over to, to about here and connect it up with a pathway that comes out of, uh, uh, out of the house. I'd also want to make, um, some slabs, uh, maybe cobblestone or stone brick, and we'll bring it so that this is an easy walk up and down. You don't have to jump up and down, go through more like stairs and, um, then I like to texture the walls in here. So... Uh, I'll go ahead and get started on that, and, uh, I'll get back to you when, when I'm done with that. Okay, so, I have done quite a bit of work. Um, we now have three dogs out here. I don't know if I showed you guys that before, but the road, uh, the pathway here has been done quite a bit. Um, it's done with granite, polished granite, um, Diorite, andesite, and the polished variants of them as well, along with a few uh, stone slabs here and there. And underneath them are torches, so that uh, so that this area will be uh, lit up a bit. Um, down here, follow this down here. I've hollowed out a bit of a room, and uh, I've decorated it just a bit. It's not like amazing or anything, but at least. At least it's better than just regular old cave walls. Um, I built this monument here for our first um, crafting table, and I even moved it from its original position, which is right over right there in our wheat field. Is that? That's a dog. That is. I don't have any bones, so I have to kill you. Go ahead and be mad at me. Oh, are you going to kill me? No, no, I had to kill him. If I didn't kill him, he'd grow up and kill my sheep. We just can't have that. So, uh, the next, but, uh, this area is a little bit big and we can definitely go with a few more monuments here. And I, I've grabbed some item frames and we're just going to put them up on this wall here. And uh, I'm actually going to take a couple of torches. Put one there and one there. There's some hidden lighting under the floor here too. Uh, but some there isn't going to be so bad. Now what I want to use this for is like some of the um, easier achievements. Things that don't really need full monuments to them. Um, like taking inventory... Time to mine, getting an upgrade, time to farm, time to strike, more tools. I think that's everything that I have here. Um, I'm just going to take these and stick them in the... Uh, in these frames, in these item frames. Uh, I did, I did make a few extra ones here. Um... But that is just so that, um, so that when we get more, more things, 
Ooh. Um, I'm trying to figure out a a way to do here. Let's go to let's go to the achievement list, and I'll and I'll tell you what I'm thinking here. So these are the achievements that we have done. Uh, I recently also killed a creeper with arrows, and I accidentally powered a furnace with a kelp block. So both oops, those both of those things we're gonna have to um make uh make monuments too so one of the things i'm thinking about here is construct a furnace out of eight cobblestone blocks so what i could do is i have a furnace and i could name it hot topic and put it in the wall just like i did with the these ones down here or maybe i could build like a blacksmithing station uh as the hot topic one um Uh, then there's Monster Hunter, which I could put a bone, because that's what it shows here. I could put a bone in there, or I could put Rotten Flesh, because I think the first thing I killed was a Drown. Um, and put that up on the wall. Um, but I was also thinking maybe what I could do is make a mob farm, since we have no, not like a mob mob farm, but maybe find a spawner and, uh, turn it into... Turn it into a spawner farm because we don't have a source of experience right now. Not that that's like the main focus of this, but um, at least then it would be building something that we could use, um, and it we could call it the monster hunter. Um, you know, achievement place, the monument for that achievement. Um. For pork chop, I was thinking maybe we would do, um, build like a, just like a pig farm. Of course, right now I don't, I have a couple pigs in my, um, you go up here to my chicken area, you go up to my chicken farm area. There is a couple of pigs in here. I do have them set aside so that they don't get away. Uh, the problem is, is we don't have anything like carrots or potatoes, so I can't take them anywhere. Um, let's see. Let's go to the achievements again. Um, now things like, sh uh, use shears to obtain wool from a sheep. I could put shears on there because it doesn't technically say anything about, about getting a sheep. Now this one says breed two cows with wheat and harvest some leather. So I could build a cow farm and that would cover both of them or it could just cover one and I could put one in the item frames. Um, now if I built a blacksmith area, it would, I could also put this iron ingot, put an iron ingot in one, but I could put it at the, at the, um, the blacksmithing area. Um, I'm thinking I might actually put an arrow up with the archer on there because I'm not sure how to do this one. Kill a creeper with arrows. Um, like what we could build. Maybe you guys could leave some ideas down in the comments. Um, alternative fuel, power of furnace with kelp. With a kelp block. So that could be the same, similar thing as the acquire hardware. Uh, where what we could do is uh, use uh, use um, the uh, blacksmithing area. And I could set this as a fuel source. Like set down a block of this inside with like a bunch of coal blocks or something. Um, I think that, I mean, those are my ideas. You guys could leave some, uh, help down in the comments. That would be awesome. Um, I think what we're going to do though, for the rest of this episode is work a little bit more on, on this area here. See, another thought was I could put some furnaces down here. 
like I could put a furnace here with a kelp block in the fur in the fuel area. I could put a um, furnace here and have in the output an iron ingot. You know what I mean? Um, for the the fish one, uh, what I'm thinking is we'll build a some form of oops, some form. This is my um, amazing and awesome huge sugarcane farm. Isn't it great? Uh, we could do some sort of fishing dock. That's what I want to do for that one. Um, I'm not sure where I want to put some of these farms. So like, I need a sheep farm and a cow farm. Uh, but I'm not sure where that we should, where we should be putting them. I also need to move this wheat farm to somewhere a little better. But what I want to do for the rest of this episode is just maybe grab some dirt. Uh, we have a bunch. And what I want to do is sort of fix this area. I've started um, terraforming a little bit right in here. Um, what I'm thinking is I want to raise this up. So that it's more of like a mound and there's like an archway right here. And that may, may be even bring some of this in a little bit so it's a little tighter, but I don't, I don't think so. I think that's pretty good. Um, might bring this in then. Something like, like this. Oh, that sheep. Just something like this. And what we'll do is fill in this um, area here with some dirt and then we in a future episode we can work on getting our mine all the way to the bottom so that's another thing like I can bring it I can once we get our mine to the bottom um, what I can do is then build an area down there and that's where I could put the blacksmith those are just thoughts um, I need some ideas, guys, but uh, what I'm going to do is uh, work on this here, and I will see you guys in a little while when I have a little bit of progress done. Okay, guys, we are all done with what I was working on, and uh, we're going to go ahead and flip the camera around to take a look at it. But I also... Uh, you might notice I got four dogs now, so we're just one away from uh, the pack leader achievement. So that'll be cool. Let's head down here real quick to just take a look at uh, what we have here. Don't forget, uh, I need to uh, I need some suggestions for what to do for some of the other smaller achievements. Uh, let's head up here towards the um, towards the wheat field. As you can see, I put in this sort of staircasey area right here. And uh, there's like a, a, just like a cooking log area. It wasn't really um, like a monument to anything. It's just like a little build spot that we got done. I also covered up this area here. And as you can see, I put in some stairs that go all the way down uh, to this main open area right here. And we'll put uh, some sort of smithing area in here. Uh, maybe a blacksmith area where we can put some of those achievements. Uh, but more more or less, uh, I just need a place for some storage as well. So we'll have to put that in here as well. Um, some stone storage. Maybe we'll actually put it in at the bottom. Let's go all the way to the... Um, that's where I was taking out some diorite and granite and stuff. Um, all the way to the bottom here where I'm at 12. Get our hand back so I can see what I'm doing. Um... All the way down here at the very bottom of the mine. Uh, long, windy tunnel that we have down here. Um, there's this room, and it's got my the beginning of my branch mine, and we'll have to do something cool for this. Uh, I believe there's some mining achievements. I haven't quite looked at them yet, but give me... Give me some ideas as to what you guys, what achievements you guys want to see me do next. 
Um, remember, it's got to be something that is kind of simple because we don't have a lot of uh, gear. I don't have diamonds yet. So uh, here's a bit of a ravine. I did go down and poke around a little bit, but um, like I, I lit up the whole bottom of the ravine. The, the walls and things aren't completely mined out yet. Um, but like I said, um, keep, an, keep it, you know, kind of simple for, for right now. We'll get into some of the harder things as time goes on. Um, but I definitely wanted to get a start on things. I think we got quite a bit of monuments done. Um, even if they change a little bit. So like maybe if we take the time to mine monument out of the, out of that basement there. And then um, this needs a little bit more some variance. I need to take out these, this here, and add more um, cobblestone. But I was had to smelt up more smooth stone because we don't have silk touch or any of that stuff yet. There's lots of things we still need to do, basic, basic things. But uh, uh, get in here and close this door. Sleep the night away uh, before that creeper kills us. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to do before before we left, is I do have uh, this bow that we got from a skeleton, but it's almost dead. You can see it there. Um, I and I had made my own bow, and now that we have this anvil, I'd like to take them and combine them together. Um, yeah, it's only going to be two, and this one has power three, unbreaking, and infinity, and that's a that's a good weapon. Um, now that it's like basically fully uh fully healed we'll have quite a bit of stuff i'm gonna grab these feathers um i believe we have some flint here's 13 pieces there's one Not any more up there no is there any outside i want oh Oh, I bet that killed my dog. Oh, it didn't kill the dog. Oh, that's that's so that's so lucky. But he did ruin my yard. Um uh, I didn't think he was going to be that close. Well, I'm going to fix this, I guess. Um <laughs> best I can. Uh and then we'll We'll be back next episode. Um, I just gotta put in some, I guess, a new stair. Basically, blew up all the blocks, destroyed them. All right, I'm having some trouble with creepers, so maybe we'll have to do some lighting things around here and get rid of a lot of the, a lot of the surrounding things. But I'm glad you didn't kill my dog. <laughs> I'd have been upset. Um, these dogs keep the, the skeletons away. I think though. Um, oh, so what I wanted to do was, uh, grab some sticks. Do I have any spare sticks? Not. I have a lot of cobblestone now, though. Um, I was looking for iron. And didn't find a whole lot of iron. Um, right now we can make arrows. There, now I have 61 arrows. We'll have to probably dig up some gravel for some flint at later date. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode, I guess. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!